What is up, the nerd named Danny here, and today I bring you the latest and greatest tablet just announced from Google today on the 29th of October at their event that they had. Uh, this looks like one beast tablet. It is the one following the uh, Nexus 7, and this is the Nexus 10 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi model. Um, it's currently in pre-order from the Google Play Store and possibly other retailers. And here are some specs. Uh, it has an incredibly high pixel per inch rate, much higher than Apple's Retina display, making it the top of the line. It has a 10.1 inch display, as you probably assume from the Nexus 10 name. Um, it's got a dual core processor, I believe it's 1.7 gigahertz. Uh, so that's a bunch of power. It's got 2 gigabytes of internal RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. Running Android 4.2, which I did a video of uh, before, and I expected that to be Key Lime Pie, but it's actually not. It's just another version of Jelly Bean. Um, it has a 5 megapixel back camera and a very high 1.9 megapixel front camera. That should be great for you know, video chatting, video conferencing, whatever you happen to be doing with this device. Another surprising feature of it is the 9,000 milliamp hour uh, battery that it includes. That's much higher than some of its competing tablets, competing rather, excuse me, like the Sony Xperia S tablet or the um, Galaxy Tab 2 10.1. So that should give you a great long-lasting battery life. It has a GPS, barometer, gyroscope, ambient light, compass, accelerometer, and microphone. Um, I'm not... Does it have a... Yes, it does look like it has a back flash to it. Uh, it also has NFC for, you know, tapping the other your devices and sharing files that way or whatever you happen to use it for. And like I said, uh, Wi-Fi BGN. It does have a micro USB port as well as a micro HDMI port if you wanted to hook this up to a TV for presenting or any other uses for it. And a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. If we head over to the feature listing on Google Play, you'll see that they're highlighting the ability to do various media related tasks such as read magazines, watch movies, and TV shows in stunning HD, which I do believe, considering it has a much higher pixel per inch rate than Apple's Retina. Um, highlighting with Android 4.2 is the ability to personalize your Nexus tablet. You can get different user profiles if you wanted to share it with your family. Maybe you have children that want to play on it. You can create different user profiles and limit the functionality of them. Each can install their own apps and wallpapers. And it appears to come in two models here, the 16GB and 32GB, both Wi-Fi. And it comes at a surprisingly low $399 price point for the 16GB model, compared to Apple's like iPad 4 that was just announced. That should be around $500, I believe. And... This obviously has better specifications in terms of processing power, memory, uh, and especially that stunning HD display. And finally, if we scroll up here to the top, it is available for purchase starting on November 13th. But if you head over to Google Play, I'll put a link in the description. You can sign up for details as to when it becomes available. Alright, thank you for watching. Be sure and either give me a like or a dislike depending on whether you like this video. And leave me a comment telling me what you think is the best tablet out and whether you'll be purchasing one of these Nexus 10 tablets.